welcome viewers to the 10th episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 internal mathematics paper 1. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please go to our YouTube channel, check for the playlist that contains these questions. Alternatively, you can download a companion app for this channel, look for S exams academy on the play store or you can see the link below this video where you can download the app in that app we have so much resources including quizzes past papers pamphlets and also the youtube channel videos that are there and they are arranged in a much more easier way to find them in the app so question 10 a leads set a is equal to x such that x is greater but less or equal to 15 where x is a prime number then set b is equal to x such that x is greater or equal to 0 but less than 10 and x is an odd number list the set a intersection b so the question requires us to list the member of set A intersection B. Again, it's important to understand the question. So here, the trick part is just remembering what are prime numbers and what are odd numbers. If you can remember these, then the question becomes very easy. So what are prime numbers? Prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by one and itself. Those are prime numbers. Now, these prime numbers should be greater than 1 but less than or equal to 15 so let us list what is in a so a should contain the first prime number is a 2 because 2 can only be divided by 2 itself and a 1 the second prime number will be a 3 because 3 can only be divided by itself and a 1 then we go to 5 then we go to 7 then 9 is not a prime number because it can be divided by 3 1 and itself so 11 is a prime number then 13 the next prime number from 13 is 17 17 is greater than 15 so this is what is in m then let us look for b b are odd numbers so x is an odd number but that number is greater or equal to 0 but less than 10 so an odd number is a number where 2 can go and leaves a remainder that's an odd number so those numbers that are not divisible by 2. So we have 1 itself. Then we have 3. Then next we have 5. Then we have 7. Then we have 9. So these numbers goes up to 10. It's less than 10. So 9 is the last one. Then among these two sets, we need to find A intersection B. So if you are looking for the element that are found both in set A and set B. So what are those elements? We have 3, 1, the 3 here and there. Then you have 5 and 5, 7 and the 7. These are the only the elements that are found in both the sets. So the answer is 3, 5, 7. So we have set consisting of 3, then 5, then 7, like this. Then we go to question B. So question B is asking us to solve 2 to the power x plus 3 equals to 1 over 16. So that's what we need to solve. So what we need to do is we need to write the other side of the equation in terms of base 2. So this is the same as which number should we raise 2 to get 16. So, if I to get a 16, we need to multiply 2 by itself. How many times? 4. To be 2 times 2, you see, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. So, this is the same as 1 over 2 to the power 4, which is the same as 2x plus 3 equals 2 to the power negative 4. So, the purpose is to express these two sides of the function in the same base. What base is that? base 2. That's the purpose. And this question always comes in a different form. It can be to the power 3, it can be 3 to the power anything, but you need to arrive at 
this point that the bases are the same once the bases are the same it means the powers are also equal so what it means now is we're going to have x plus three let me use the different colors what you distinguish in plus three the powers must equal to negative four this is what it means so at this point we just need to solve for x so x is equal to negative four minus three the moment this three crosses the equal sign it becomes a negative so this gives me negative 7. So the value of x is negative 7. So x is equal to negative 7. Let me just write negative 7. That's the value of x. Once you do that, you get those two marks.